Birds of a feather. I mean, life-changing series, yeah. really, Linda. Where, how did it all begin back in those early, early days? 1989 it started. So we did Shine on Harvey Moon together. I was doing Shine on Harvey Moon. Pauline came down for the weekend to me. And while we were in the bar, they said we should write something for Pauline to come into Shine on Harvey Moon. So they did. And there was a scene one day where we were running behind and they said, could you two ad-lib for a little bit? So we ad-libbed and the writers loved it. They said, oh, and they said, after we finish on and having moon, we've got an idea, we're thinking of doing a series for you two. So we thought, oh yeah. And nothing happened for about two years. And then we got a phone call one day saying, would you like to meet us for lunch? So we said, yeah, free lunch, lovely. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we went and met them in this pub and they said, we were, um, they went to this hotel for Christmas and they heard these two women talking about their husbands being in prison. And that's where the idea for Birds of a Feather came. So they told us this and they said, oh, it's about two sisters. Um, their husbands end up in prison. One lives in a high rise block of flats in Edmonton and the other one lives in a million pound house in Chigwell. And I just remember pulling going, I know which one I am. <laughs> Um, and the rest is sort of history, really. And then we did um, the first episode and um, Sharon's character said the B word. Sounds a bit like... Bar steward. Bar steward. And um, we nearly got taken off the air because in, in Bread, Grandad was swearing all the time, but it said that it was the first time that a woman had sworn in a comedy. Um, and so there was a lot of sort of stick and that. But it, all it did was make more people watch the show, really. So it did us a favour. Of course. I remember going to the producer's house and we sat and watched the show. And then afterwards she rang uh, the BBC and they said there'd been 100 and like, complaints about it. So we put on voices and rang up and said, we've just watched this first episode of this series. The women in it were brilliant. We said we absolutely <laughs> loved it and we got caught out because I gave my sister's name and they rang my sister the next day to go on, I think it was, it was Gloria Honeyford's show, <laughs> to say, um, like, could you tell us what you thought of Birds of a Feather last night? She went, you're winding me up, my sister's in that. <laughs> and we can see um, <laughs> Leslie there. When did you first meet Leslie then? Well, they invited, they told us about this Jewish lady that's going to be in it that they'd seen in this play called Exclusive Yarns and they said, I'm right, we're going to take you to the Ritz. Um, to meet Leslie, who's going to play Dorian. So we went to the Ritz and um, it was really, you know what the Ritz is like, yeah. really, really posh. posh. So this wine waiter comes over and said, what would you like to drink? So um, the, the writers went, oh, we'll get some pink champagne, this really expensive champagne, and poured it into our glasses. And I went, excuse me, have you got any sparkling water, please? And he went, yes. Anyway, we poured the sparkling water into the champagne. I hate champagne. I really don't <laughs> like it. And the wine waiter was like... What a waste of that <laughs> expensive champagne. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, girls? you three were real trailblazers when it came to equal pay for women, weren't you? We were, yeah, cos we found out how much they were getting on Only Fools and Horses and we said, well, we're doing the same sort of job, we're women, so we want to be paid the same as them. Quite right. And we stood our ground <laughs> and we got paid the same as them. Yay! Yeah. Which sounds so simple, but, yeah, yeah that you, had to, you had to fight for it. But rightly so. I mean, when you think of all the hugely successful, iconic shows that will go down in history, yeah. Birds of a Feather is is up there with all of them. 27 million people watch Used a Christmas special. Used to watch a Christmas special, special yeah. That's all them years phenomenal. Ago. Yeah, I mean... Everyone's lucky if they get 10 million nowadays because there's so many channels. When we did it, there was only them few channels. There was BBC One, BBC Two, ITV and Channel Four. I think that was about it, really. So we um, we had like a lot of viewers. <laughs> but that changed your life, Linda, because suddenly, overnight, you couldn't walk no. down the street without... Because we all felt we knew you. We all loved yeah. the character so much. You were... Yeah, yeah. Her. And well, it... I think it was the first thing I'd done looking like myself. Because when I did Sean and Harvey Moon, it was obviously period, like, hairstyles and period costumes and everything. Whereas when Birds of a Feather came out, it was like overnight everyone knew us, you know, like, and so it sort of changed everything. So if you went out somewhere... If I went to the supermarket, it'd take me ages just to go and get me shopping because everyone would be stopping and saying, like, how's your sister? Or, you know, and I said... The amount of times that people would sing, what will I do you? <laughs> in the aisles or whatever, you'd hear someone singing it and that. So it was like overnight, mm. then we got asked to do like adverts and we got offered lots of money to do things. Um, the, the surf advert in particular. Um, so we did that for a few years. 